So you guys asked me to make this video. So here I am. So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going to talk about what is the difference between protocols and delegates. So I see this question to be an interviewing question because this could be a follow up question when interview asks you about the delegation design pattern. And I believe that if you have a good understanding about delegation design pattern, then you must know about the difference between protocols and delegates. So I simply took this question just because you guys asked me to do this. Uh, maybe uh, some interviewer has asked you this question. I haven't faced this question yet. Still, let me tell you that if we talk about protocols and delegates in brief, then protocols are simply some set of methods that we write. Those methods could be optional or could be strictly required. Whereas a delegate is simply the reference to the class which is going to confirm to that protocol. All right, all right. So let me show you that with a quick example. So for that, let's jump right into Xcode. Yes, here we have a small project to make you understand the basic difference between protocols and delegate. So from here onwards, I want you to see those both of those things separately because maybe you have used that delegation design pattern before and you mix up both of those things. So just to make sure that uh, you understand this completely, you need to make sure that you can separate out between these two. I know it's a kind of, uh, you know, tricky thing to do because it's look like a single topic itself when we talk about protocol and delegates, but it's really not like that. So let me tell you, we have these two view controllers here. The first one is called view controller itself. And the second one is called language view controller. And in the language view controller, we have four options. The, those four options are nothing but four languages that we can choose. As you can see right here, you have Swift, Python, Objective-C and C++. What I want is whenever I choose any of the language, I want that callback from this second view controller, which is language view controller to my base view controller, which is called view controller. So what I have done is I have created a pro protocol called language view delegate and it's particular type of protocol, which is a class type only. That means that this protocol can only confirm to a class type of instance only. All right. So I have made this extension of this uh, protocol called language view delegate just to make sure that this function that I have written inside it is nothing but an optional function and not a required one. Okay, so this uh, line is what is what this line is simply doing in this extension of this uh, protocol is simply making this uh, method as an optional method. It means that you must have seen this thing in a UI table view as well. When we use that UI table view delegate and data source protocols, we have particular methods that are optional and there are certain methods which are not optional. You need to use those methods inside your class in which you are confirming those two protocols. So as far as uh, I remember, you must have heard about cell for row at index path. That is a required one protocol and also number of rows in section. All right, so let's come back to this project and we have this selected language uh, method just to pass the value whichever we choose right here on this screen. So let me just run this app again to show you how it works. So when the app launches, we simply move on to the second view controller because we have given this method right here to go back to to go to our second view controller. Okay, so the second view controller comes on the screen and if I choose the language Swift, which is my favorite language, what happens is this comes to the breakpoint that I have made several. I have made several breakpoints on this screen. So when we choose the Swift button tabbed, this simply the call simply comes to this point, and now I can see how the execution is you know exactly working. So if I move forward, so we see that this call is simply going to this protocol method called selected language. Now let me tell you that when we choose that Swift uh, language button, what happens is the delegate simply calls this method and you know, just serves, up, serves us the value which is inside that. So as you can see here in the, in the value, we have Swift and you can also see that in the console itself, here we have Swift because we have chosen Swift, all right. But let me tell you how did that happen? So what happened is 
we have simply made this delegate and where we have this where we have made this delegate we have made this delegate inside our language view controller so here we have a weak variable called delegate which is of type language view delegate and as you know that this language view delegate protocol it is simply a protocol all right so uh, just don't confuse with the name i have just named it language view delegate doesn't doesn't mean that it is a delegate it's not a delegate it's basically a protocol and now i am making its delegate inside this class called language view controller and why i have made this weak variable because as i told you before this is a class type of protocol so i don't want to uh, hold any kind of strong references to any class so that's why i have made this variable to be a weak one okay so let's move on for forward and let's just see what we do when we are on the base view controller and when we move on to the second view controller we just instantiate the second view controller and then we can access this delegate and when we access this delegate we just assign the value of self which is this class itself so as i told you before delegate is nothing but the reference to the class that is going to conform to a particular protocol and which protocol here in this case we have language view delegate so as you can see here we have this extension of the view controller and we are conforming to the protocol called language view delegate now that we have confirmed to this protocol now this delegate is going to work for us like any other delegate you you must have heard about countries delegate in the you know uh, you know uh, in in a democracy or in any kind of organization we have some delegates which represents that particular organization and it's going to be a foreign ministry meeting only so if that meeting is going to happen in us itself then then some indian delegates will go just to represent the indian side in the same way this delegate works for this class called view controller now when we assign this controller's delegate equals to the self it means that this class is going to be the owner of this delegate now and this delegate is going to represent this class only okay also when we make this delegate equals to self it's necessary to make this protocol conform to this view controller otherwise it doesn't make any sense okay so now when i click on swift button tabbed what i do is i use this delegate and this delegate is optional so i made this question mark sign after that i use the method written inside our protocol called selected language and i pass the value swift inside this method so what happens is whenever i tap on swift button tabbed this particular chunk of uh, this particular line this particular line is called and as we know the delegate refers to our class called view controller which is the base controller it eventually comes the call eventually comes right inside this method and we get the value which the delegate eventually given us okay so here in this case you can see that this view controller is sharing some of its responsibilities with this delegate or you can say indirectly with the protocol because delegate is just a you know a medium to talk with our protocol methods so until and unless we make this delegate the connection between these two classes is going to be impossible you can use other methods no doubt but if you are going to use a protocol and delegate which is you know you may i mean just delegation design pattern if you are going to use you need to follow this approach whether you are using some other classes whether you are taking call back from a table view cell from a table view cell to our view controller inside which the table view you have used whatever it is you need to make such kind of protocols it depends on you what kind of methods you want but you need you need to make some delegates and you, you need to assign some class or assign reference to some class to that particular delegate after that you can confirm to that particular protocol and then you can simply use the methods so if i recapitulate all of it i would say that these protocols are simply 
set of methods and this delegate is simp simply working as a agent between uh, you know two objects maybe so if you are working with passing of data from a second view controller maybe a forwarded view controller to a backward view controller in this uh, sense I mean from a second view controller to a previous view controller you can simply use this design pattern using delegate delegate is doing nothing but holding a reference to the class to which our protocol is going to be confirmed and in simple words this class can do many things this class inherits ui view controller and all of that which is which could be possible inside view ui view controller this uh, class called view controller can do that but what this class cannot do is what this delegate is doing for it so this class is sharing some of its responsibility with this delegate or indirectly with the protocol and this protocol is you just just helping us to track the uh, you know kind of events that are happening on the secondary screen if i give you a layman example i can say that uh, to give you just a feel of what is a protocol and what is delegate so suppose i am uh, i work in my home i suppose i cook in my home i do uh, all the cleaning stuff and what i don't do is utensils i don't clean utensils okay so i just uh, got another person to do that job to to you know clean all those utensils and i do all other things and that second person does the utensils work okay so now if i want so now uh, while doing my work i cannot take it uh, i cannot track what the second person is doing and what i want is i want to see that if that person is working right now or has worked and gone back uh, whatever is happening i just want to track those events so i just called on a third person which will do that thing for me in the same way this delegate is doing that thing that third person role is you know played by delegate here that third person is helping us to take a track on that second person whatever activity is happening this third person is going to just see that and going to tell me about that so that's how i will just sum up this topic so i think it's quite clear to you now if still you have any doubts feel free to to ask question in the comment box down below it's all yours so guys that's all for now see you in the next one and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet Bye-bye. Jai Hind.